Gillum, and I teach environmental science at Homeville High School in Booty, Louisiana. My 11th and 12th grade students for Activity 1 created a brochure on a dead zone using information from the National Geographic Resource Library on the dead zone. The purpose of Activity 1 was for students to gain a better understanding of our water supply and where it comes from. Activity 2, which is the focus of this narrative, the students spent time creating water filters that were made to filter out contaminants that make our water unsafe to drink. My students designed and developed fundraisers to build a well in Esalantini, Africa. This lesson and activity is connected to our changing planet and the human journey. The central theme for the lesson was, how safe is our drinking water supply? The first phase of the lesson consisted of students listening to a presentation from the Road Warriors. The Road Warriors were representatives of the Thirst Project. Their purpose and mission was to ignite a flame for change in the students. The students were introduced to the global collaborative project that connects to our changing planet. My students now understand that the sustainability of human societies depends on access to clean drinking water. The Thirst Project explains the plight the citizens in Eswantini faced. Students were very excited to embark on this journey. As you can see here, students were also challenged to polish one fingernail to bring more awareness to the safe drinking water issue that faces citizens in Africa. Students also created a thirst gram table where they challenged students to text a number so that they too could be included. Hey, um, we decided to help for build a well in Africa by making t-shirts and hoodies, selling bands at school, and making thirst okay. grams. The students were excited to create these thirst grams. The students were excited about the creation of the armbands that they sold for a dress down day at the school. And they proudly wanted it to display Gillum's Kids Thirst Project. Also, a student designed the sweatshirts that were sold to the community as well as to the students at the school of Hornville. They were very proud of the things that they were able to create. The next phase of the lesson consisted of exposing the students to a local water crisis in their very own backyard. A small community located in St. Joseph, Louisiana had a compromised water system. The students were challenged to design water filters that could be used to reduce the cost citizens would have to pay to have access to safe drinking water. They were able to view the problem through multiple so perspectives. We wanted to get the water from the pond to come out clean. So we use different things like cotton balls, charcoal, rocks, sand, and coffee filters to filter the water. And so we cut off the end of the bottle so we could pour the water in and put our materials in. And then when the water went through, all the layers filtered and my water came out blue <laughs> instead of clear, which comes to show that even part of the filter, which was the rocks, influenced here is another example of students' work as they were working through the class to complete the assignment. Students had to create a lab report to show how they constructed their devices. They saw the problem in Africa and then the problem at home. They were able to see the cultural, political, and economical perspectives. From this lesson, my students learned how powerful their voices are when it comes to change. My students collaborated with each other to refine their water filter designs. They learned how to create a marketing plan for raising money. My students came together as one to achieve a common goal, and that was ending the global water crisis. The National Geographic project sparked a curiosity and a change in me. It caused me to push not only myself, but my students beyond our limits. We were able to successfully create a fundraiser that raised money to fund a well in Africa. The students now understand from a cultural, global, and educational perspective of just how powerful their voice is. This has truly embarked and put us on a brand new journey to where from here on out, the students will try to do whatever they can to become more of a global citizen. Since this lesson, students have become active environmental global citizens. It's evident by the amount of money they raise, the time that they put into each of these projects. 
As an educator, I have learned new ways to get students motivated to do things that are greater than themselves. Through this project, my students understand the role of, that culture plays in the development of societies globally. They were able to learn about the culture of citizens in Eswantini. They saw how they lived and how the water supply impacts their education and quality of life. This international activity was designed to increase their understanding and empathy across the different local, political, and global perspectives. Thank you and the end.